Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in this series. In the previous tutorials, what we have done is that we have created a publisher node and a subscriber node. And this has been very simple notes. So what it has essentially done is that it has sent a message saying hello world to a topic that we call tutorial. And we had a subscriber which subscribed to that topic, tutorial. And what it did was that it printed it out. So the message that we published was of type string, but now you might say that, hey, Emil, what if I want to publish another type of message like an integer or something else? And this is true because you can have other sensors publishing messages like a position. So we know that a position is built off by an X, Y and Z coordinate or an X, Y. So you also need other messages. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is that we're going to create our own messages that we can send between ROS nodes. So to do this, what we need to do is that we need to go to our package. And in this package, what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new folder, which we are, which we are going to call message. And when I say message, we're going to call it msg. And in this folder, what we are going to create is a new file. So the file that we want to create in this folder is the name of our message and the contents of our message. So in this tutorial, we will send uh, the mes a message with our name, our age and our favorite color. So I will call it just person.message, uh, person underscore data dot message like this. And what I can do in this is that I just need to mention what type of variables I have in it. So for example, I can just put a string like this. So string name, a integer. So here we need to mention that it is an unsigned integer. So this will be the age. And then we have a string once more, which is the, our favorite color. So this is the only thing that we need to mention in the message file. So we just save this file. So what we want to do now is that we want to go to our package.xml file. And in here, we are going to actually add some dependencies. And the dependencies that we need to add is a build dependency and a executable dependency. So what we do is that we add them. So we just simply type build or this arrow, so build underline depend and then the name of our dependencies and in this case it's called message underscore generation and then two arrows again and we need to close that one so like this and then we also want to add a executable dependency so it looks like this And it's called message underscore runtime. And if you don't know what this dependency is, then you can just Google them and read about them. But for now, I don't think we should go into details about them. So we close this one. And what we want to do next is that we want to go to our cmakelist.txt. So we go in here and just to make it more simple to, so we can see what we are actually doing, I will just put this down like this. And I'm going to remove my message here. And so this should instead be called message generation. Like this. And then what I want to do is that I want to go down to this line saying generate message in the message folder. And as you know, we created the message folder. So what we want to do here is that we just want to uncomment these ones like this. And we don't have any message called message1.msg and message2.msg, so we are going to remove them. But what we want to add here is the name of our message and we called it person underscore data dot message. So we are going to add this one here, person underscore data dot msg. So that's actually everything that we need to do. So what we're going to do next is that we're going to go to our publisher node and we're going to use this new message that we created instead. 
And to do this, we are going to then remove this include. So we are not going to include the standard message string.h. Instead, what we are going to do is that we're going to include our new message. And to do this, we need to mention in what package it is. And it is in our package that we call tutorial2. So tutorial2. And then a slash. And then the name of our message. And it's called person underscore data. And then we need to add the extension. And here you want, may want to say that it's message, but it's actually is going to be a, an h file like this. So we add dot h. And what we want to do next is that we need to edit our file here. So in our publisher, we said that we are going to publish to a topic called tutorial, and we are going to publish the type standard message string, but that's not what we're going to publish now. So we are going to change this one. So now we are going to say that we are going to publish tutorial to and our person underscore data like this. And what we are going to do next is that we are going to change this in the while loop because here we created the message. So what we are going to do instead is that we are going to remove this one. We're going to copy this line here, this type of the message and create a new object of that type. So we are going to call it just person person underscore data. We call it the same as, as the type of the message. So what we're going to do is that we're going to fill this in with information. So as we know, we type person underscore data. So to set the variables, we just type dot and then the variables. And as we know, what we set as the variables is a string name, an integer age and a string color. So we just say person underscore data dot name equals so ml mark in this and we're going to set also the h so equals 25 and we're also going to say that person underscore data dot color so my favorite color is yellow it's like this and then we're going to publish this one and we don't call it message anymore. We call it person underscore data. So we're going to add a two like this. So now what you can see is that we have created our message of type person data. And we have filled it in with information and then we publish it to the topic of tutorial. So what you can do before we go on is that we can copy this include line here. So we're going to need it in the next thing that we're going to do. And the next thing that we are going to do is that we're going to go to our subscriber node and we're going to erase this include here and change it to our new include of our new message. So we know that this node subscribes to the topic. And in the main function, what we do is that we only say that, okay, we're going to subscribe to this tutorial topic and we're going to run this write message dialog as soon as we get a message. So what we need to change is this parameter or argument that we get. So as for now, we say that, okay, this is a constant standard message of string and a constant pointer to it. So this is not the case now. So what we actually receive is a type of tutorial to person underscore data. And we receive a constant pointer and I don't want to call this message. So I will just call it, we can call it just data or uh, we make it good. So we call it person underscore data. So it's more understandable of what we are receiving. And what we want to do in this is just that we want to print out it again, but this time we want to print it in another way. So as we can see, we say Ross info, the message that we received was blah, blah, blah. So instead, what we want to do is that we want to erase this one here and we want to say that name like this. And then we want to print out the data. So we're going to say that, oh, okay, I think we can just erase everything until this C underscore string because we still going to need it. So we say person underscore data dot name. So that's what we're going to print out. Okay, so we need to add a percent and an S here like this. So what it does is that it says, okay, here we're going to print the string and the string that we're going to print is the one that comes after the comma sign. So this is person underscore data. And the next thing that we want to do is that we want, we can just copy this line. So we 
print it out and we, we can do it three times like this. So the next thing that we want to do is to print out our age. So we change this to age. And now we don't, don't need a string. We can set an I like this. I think it stands for integer. I think you can have a F, which is for float and so on. So we just set I. And here we don't want to take the name. So, and we don't want to convert it to a string. So we just say dot H like this. And what we want to do next is that we want to add this favorite color here. So we're just going to type favorite color. And of course it's going to be a string, but it's going to be dot color here. So I think that's everything that we need to do. So we're just going to save this and make sure we have saved everything else. So, and what we can do now is that we open up our terminal and we go to our workspace. So it's called tutorials for me. And in here, what I can do is just run catkin underscore make. And what it does now is that it builds my message and it should build also the new function. And as we can see, we got a pretty large error. So let's see. Okay. It says we don't have color, age and name. Okay. So what we need to do is we want to go into our subscriber. And what we actually want to change is this constant pointer because that's not what we are receiving. We are receiving a tutorial to person data. And then we want to add an end sign here like this. And then we want to save this one. So now I think it should work for us. So we build it again. And yes, as we can see, it has built now. So what we do now uh, is that we open up two new terminals. So I'm going to open two new ones. And in the first one, I'm going to run the ROS core. So in the second one, I want to go to my workspace. So I'm going to the workspace, which is called uh, tutorials. And in here, I want to source the devil setup.bash. And then I want to type ROS run tutorial, tutorial two, and I want to run the publisher node. And as we know, it's not going to print anything. It's just going to publish to the topic. And what I want to do in the first one is to run my, my subscriber. So in here, I just source the folder also. So I mean, I source the setup.bash file and then I can run my publisher. So I run ROS run and then I run my subscriber node. So to do that, I just say tutorial to subscriber underscore node and run it. And as we can see, we receive a message now every second again. So we have name, email v mark, age 25, favorite color, yellow. So we now we print out our new newly created message. But okay, now you might say that, okay, what if I don't know the type of message that the topic uses? So if you don't know the type of message the topic publishes, what we are going, you can find it out by going to, to terminal and what you can do is that you type ROS topic list, as we have shown in previous tutorials. And here you can see that we have three actual topics right now publishing. And if you look at this tutorial, and this is the one we have created. So if I want to know what type of message this one is publishing, what I can do is that I type ROS topic info and then what topic I want to know about. So I sl type slash tutorial like this, and then I get a type here, which say that, okay, this publishes a topic of type tutorial to slash person data. So this is the type of message that it uses. And here we can also see which, who publishes this data and who subscribes to its data. So now we don't have a subscriber because we were running this in this terminal and that's why it doesn't show up because we have closed it and that's pretty much all that i will show you in this tutorial i hope it was helpful for you please like and subscribe the video and to my channel i really appreciate it and have a nice day